at the Sidewalk Cafe. And uh, thanks, thanks. And I'm happy to see all of you, and I'm happy also to be able to tell you that tonight we had a really wonderful round of acts, starting with Peter DeSouza, who is going to be coming out tonight pro-choice on the issue of mental health. And he's got some, if you're lucky, he's got a stack of these flyers, and if you're lucky, after his show, he's going to give you a chance to take a close look at those. But right now, I give to you Peter DeSouza. Thank you, Dan. Hi, everybody. Well, I will endeavor tonight to explain some uh, flawed songs, and uh, I have to deal with the fact that they need a lot of explanation. So I will be also coming out pro-choice on the mental health issue. This is an issue that uh, I think everyone who has the time to consider it can give, uh, give a lot of thought to. But if you do, you need a lot of time, I think. Uh, I'm concerned about it because it's possible that it's either a question of choice or chemistry. I mean, what is it? One, uh, with regard to tonight's theme, I'd like to say that I'm coming out pro-choice, but I have to consider both the, uh, the chemical makeup and the, uh, the fact that we try to have a consciousness in the whole thing. Uh, the other day I was walking along the path of Colonial Williamsburg. This is one of my inner landscapes. And as I was there, I was thinking, well, what if uh, I were uh, trying to be rational? Could I connect myself? Could I connect myself with someone who was perhaps uh, to my detriment? Would I maybe link myself to someone the likes of Jeffrey Dahmer? As I was walking, do you understand me all right? As, as I was walking through this inner landscape of Colonial Williamsburg, I was working the streets and I found that I would connect myself to somebody who could actually be dangerous to me. And I wondered whether mental choice was a question of uh, our own decision or not. I thought to myself, well, I would rather be a jockey with a, I would rather be a racehorse with a cruel jockey. But then even after that jockey is arrested for cruelty to animals, I would still visit this jockey in his prison cell. I wonder if it's really a question of choice at all. These days I hear insightful sounds. These voices need to confide in me. They're inching toward me like a sword. They pierce, they're coming inside of me. I have no choice when they're driving me. They cheat, they steal, and they lie to me. Why do they hide in me? I say, let me be. With stealth I rise like heat off pavement stones Cause jockeys are riding me I hear their yells, the clang of bells Their sharpened spurs have been shining me Their jabs go under the hide of me They tell me, be what you wanna be Do what you want with me I say, let me be Are you finished? Get away from me Are you lonely? Come to me and stay Are you running? I'm your hiding place Yet I beg you, come another day Are you finished? Get away from me Are you lonely? Come to me and stay Are you running? I'm your hiding place Yet I beg you, come another day Awake with shadows quake, they crack, they crumble with ecstasy. The cops may take you away from me. I tell you, be what you wanna be, do what you want with me. I say, let me be with you in your prison cell. Me for you, down a wishing well. You wanna be what you wanna be, do what you want with me. I wanna be with you. In your prison cell Me for you Who I know so well You wanna be what you wanna be Come on and do what you want With me Are you finished? Get away from me Are you lonely? Come to me And stay
thought enough. After the cops took away this person, took away this person from me, I met someone who valued, who, who wanted commitment enough to commit herself, who, want, who valued sanity enough to uh, enter a sanitarium. I believe that this was a matter of free choice, a question perhaps of medical insurance. But in fact, it is also a question of detoxing, of getting out the impurities from the system. And when you are permitted then to uh, purify yourself, in a way it's like taking the cure. You know, back in the 30s in Germany, people used to take the cure all the time. Uh, I remember, you know, this situation might be where you're calling, uh, in, in my case, I'm thinking of Albin Berg. I want to call this composer up and ask him how his opera is doing. And I ask, well, how's your wife? And he, he says, she's not there, she's away, she's taking the cure. So I, I leave a message and she would call back in six weeks. In the same way, we can go upstate and take the cure ourselves, but more and more the tendency has been to prescribe medication to alter the behavior. I mean, perhaps it's a choice, perhaps it's other people's choice and we accept it. You know, there's, I have a list here, Haldol, Luvox, uh, Tegridol. These things will, I mean, what can they do in this perfectly normal situation? Perhaps you're extremely depressed, extremely anxious, you're extremely aggressive. These, these drugs step in and take over. So I, I ask again, is mental health a question of choice or a question of chemistry? Well, in this song, I attempt to uh, rationalize my callow questions here because uh, I, I ask you, in fact, to consider the Lilith story. I don't know if you're familiar with the biblical story, but I'm talking about one with roles for Warren Beatty, Gene Seberg, and Peter Fonda. And the story is Lilith, and Lilith takes them with her. It's basically Gene Seberg taking us with her. And the place where they go is the Four Winds. And the place where they come from is the Greta Garbo home for wayward boys and girls. So I asked, you know, hello, Alvin, how's your wife? Let me speak with your wife. Well, she's away. Oh, it's, it happened? Okay. Well, leave a message. So she said goodbye, you know. So she gave you all she got. She's telling you to let her. Though she said goodbye, you know. You should have seen that there was maybe something troubling. When she says she's sleeping with another man, then says she cares. And she said goodbye before. You ignored the little signs, avoided all the seizures. When she said goodbye before, there were calls and SOS and quarts of the beverages. Diet Coke is killing off the one you love. Stop drinking beer. No problem here, nowhere. Right on schedule, nowhere in a permanent holding pattern, nowhere we've got nurses' attendance, it's a hell of a service, with the freedom relinquished in there, not fair, what are we heading for, no cares, it's a frequent relinquishment, no cure, just a camp in the mountains, it's encountered with nature, with a geyser that blows us away. No one says goodbye, you know. It's always someday there's a place where everyone is singing. And we're all alumni here on sabbatical until the great reunion day. Seek help and people come to your aid. Lost souls with conflicts on a field trip making a trade. Add more to the mix. They call it a fix. It makes you want more. No problem there, no problem before. So while others are out getting cured, I am frozen in inaction. Perhaps a medication could help me move toward my goals. In fact, there have been times where I have been in a romantic situation even, at the seashore perhaps, where I have been unable to act, where I've been asking for an intervention, perhaps a natural intervention, perhaps a third party. I'm frozen by, not by the cold, but by a Jane Austen sensibility. I need a third, I need a third person. Hey, I'm just a novelist, you know? So, in this song, we get the help of nature. The moon may pull the tide away. Some stubborn fish refuse, uh, some stubborn fish decide to stay. 
restlessly they linger doing dances in the sand you know it's sad to see them spend the night that way but it is their own mistake i guess that's costing them their lives the tide goes out the fish refuse they stay and they drown not us not us we rest like sprawling ranch homes on the sand along the sea combs with a cataclysmic rolling we collide and with our bodies side to side our blood will rise until there is an end memory of the awesome pull that made this first connection we go with the flow I always could control myself. I couldn't handle you alone. But thanks to forces we can't call our own, I have the chance to be instilled and overwhelmed with you. So that song in which we lie passive to nature is called Beached, as in Beached Whales. Well, in the wake of a friend seeking, and that's cool. And the other one, no problem there. But in the wake of a friend seeking medical attention, I've discovered a whirlpool. I discovered a whirlpool from which no choice is possible. Uh, you remember the place around here called the Spiral? You know, you can get. It's free to get in, but you have to pay to get out. And in fact, the interest keeps compounding. So it uh, becomes a spiral in and of itself. Uh, I think of the uh, Milan Kundera book. In his book of laughter and forgetting, he dealt with his memories and he escaped from them better. And in fact, being in Czechoslovakia in the 60s was a difficult enough thing to escape from to, be, to begin with. But he comes out of it better, and that's what I try to do when I, I spin in my uh, grand ambitions, but um, I try to escape the spiral, and I call upon, in this case, I call upon Mousehead. Uh, Mousehead is a Freudian case study, uh, which calls to mind uh, the rumors about Richard Gere, uh, but it's, in fact, <laughs> Freud's name regarding uh, one of his case studies. Uh, Mousehead wants to live up to the, his father of, of us, Freud, and uh, of himself, and of course he fails and he gets into a spiral from which no escape is possible. So I admit there's a question of choice, but there is that spiral from which no choice is possible. So the person singing is borrowed up to the hilt, and he's sprayed, he's volatile, he's a time bomb. Vincent Foster, bristling, volatile. If you sit next to this guy on the bus, I wouldn't turn the page of the New York Times. You're gonna rub up against him and he goes, ouch, I'm sorry. Ouch, I'm sorry, please forgive the intruding silence stewing over here. Questions left unsaid can rest with love that's gone, but mixed with passion can lash out like a lion's claw instead. I lived in filth on which I dwelt. And though I looked and cringed, it's all sincerely felt. A dove for every quagmired word that can tell the force of love is better seen than heard. So spare the spiral into the gloom as I return from out upon the meadow where I watch the sunset to merry real rewards and old concerns at home they're waiting the present tense has got me the game's not over yet but everything we want we tend to get mouse head still we're waiting is there something wrong mouse head made us wait too long thank you doc for listening through all of it and those pills they do not hurt a bit i've been caught in time 
They sat with dreams benign, uh, but come the clear sign, I lash out like a lion in its prime. Still, rum has an enduring charm. The greatest source of fear is this unending calm. The years, I see them racing by. Do I regret them? Never need I let them. Not if I forget them. Father, me the way you do. You spared the spiral. But still, you left me in the gloom. And then you let me out into the workforce where the wasted time spent will marry real revenge. And all concerns at home, they're waiting. The present chance has got me. The game's not over yet. Prefer to I to linger in the meadow where we met. I grew to love a feeling, I grew to love a debt. The sum I earn is nothing to what I'm gonna next. And now that I'm reminded, God bless it, I'd as soon forget. And now that I'm reminded, God bless it, I'd as soon forget. You know it's often better to forget it. You know it's better to forget. I used to be a correction officer with a thousand inmates under my jurisdiction. Here I am checking out books at the reserve desk of the New York Public Library. I'm a librarian. <laughs> to escape the spiral, I recommend confronting problems through artistic expression, such as does the poet, as do the poet and the painter. Often I just glorify my problems, but I think it makes me feel smarter while I am overwhelmed by them. In this song, we have the usual multitude of voices, but the dominating image is that I am an alley cat and I'm going through the refuse of my favorite trash can for the gifts of the poet and the painter. Oh, I see, nice poem, nice painting. The poet caught the painter in between his lines. The painter caught the poet with his weird designs. They're caught in competition with the greatest crown. They do the promos for the saddest films in town. They force my thank you for nothing done. Divorced from every grain of compassion. Their work they make me swallow like a bitter pill. A carpet comes to take them to a northern hill. Pangs for nothing, for nothing's wrong. And thanks for saying hello now, so long. Thanks for saying hello so long, you'll be okay. Thanks for saying hello so long. Do you love him with his faults and all? He's cornered and his back is up against the wall. He's in the line of fire, so you take his job. But still, he's blabbing, it's his voice you'll have to. You rob his voice, but since his mind is gone, the cavern echoes with a yelling switch turned on. Thank you.
taverns. Perhaps it's nothing personal, but a lot of people have moved out of the city, a lot of my friends, actually, uh, to, say, Berkeley, California, Queenstown, New Zealand, Almaty, Kazakhstan. They found homes in new places, and in fact, I agree that any place I hang my hat is home. But if you know me at all, you know that my home of choice is the library. Here. Well, take the time, learn to say goodbye. Silence tells us when to go. Take it slow, don't look back because the second chance is over. is a problem for the ones who love them. One and one is two. The worst of times is through. The hump's been gotten over. Please shut the door and greet the safety of the great library. Come and join the functions in these archive dungeons. Feel free to eat or doze. This place will never close or say please go. This place will never close or say please go. If you work beyond the twilight hour, you'll find the night can generate its own ideas. Let the hazes of the moment take us to a place like home. This whole world is home. Again, nowhere is the mystery more encased than in a place like home. This whole world is home. This place will never close here. Yes. home away from home. I mean, this is the Sidewalk Cafe. It's open 24 hours. Uh, I'd like to thank very much the amazing Latch for uh, having me and for Dan for doing the sound and Tom and that, uh, the staff. And it's so great to have this place nearby. Please be generous to your waiter. Uh, thanks, Adam, for coming out. You might see Adam Vane here in the front, but he's giving me a hand with the video act. Thanks, Adam. And by the way, don't just be generous to the waiter. I have the script, so I know that this is the final song coming up. And I'm going to take the opportunity this final song to pass the tip jar so you can throw big bucks in it for Peter. Uh, so here he is on his final tune. I'll be bringing the tip jar around. Take 
Gentlemen, that's not all. We have more acts coming up tonight, including Mike Reckner, Late Night Jazz, Tom Nishioka, and coming up in just a few minutes, we'll have Leo himself. So we'll be, we'll be right back, but first, one more round of applause for the amazing, incredible Peter DeSouza. Way to go, Peter. <laughs> 